Uh, so, uh, hey guys, today we are talking about Crystron Halky Fibrax. So, the deal with Crystron Halky Fibrax is that it is a fairly strong card. Now I'm going to say it outright, say it loud and proud. Crystron Halky Fibrax, we can unban this card. Even if not immediately, one day we will be able to unban this card without a doubt. So, the thing about Crystron Halky Fibrax is... Uh, that it has this lovely effect. If this card is Link Summon, you can special summon a level 3 or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position, but cannot activate its effects this turn, but that does not include, for example, uh, graveyard effects. So during your opponent's main phase or battle phase, we can then, uh, as well, use Crystron Halky Fibrax's effect to special summon a tuner synchro monster from your extra deck, and this is treated as a synchro summon. So we could summon Formula Synchron or uh, an assortment of a few other, uh, a few other synchro tuners that will end up triggering because this they count as properly summoned because this is treated as in fact a synchro summon so for example we can uh let's assume we have a level 8 synchro monster or something we can then also use alky fibrex's effect to special summon a formula synchron draw a card and then make baron so in this case uh usually we'll probably have a borload savage Paired with Halky Fibrax, and then we'll probably go uh, negate with Borlet Savage, draw a card, make Baron, and then it's like two Omni negates. That, that's like one way we could use Halk. But uh, the primary issue, honestly, with Halk is just if you pair it with Aurorodon. So if we have Crystron Halky Fibrax, uh, then we can summon Despot 001 and then go into Aurorodon, and that is kind of problematic. And it's genuinely a one card combo with so many different cards and that's probably the only thing that's really keeping Halk down honestly I think a Rodon could just be banned at this point and we could get Halk back and we would be okay so right now I am pretty certain that there aren't that many decks that can really abuse Halk and the reason being is that um specifically if we were looking at like Snake Eye Snake Eye is probably able to abuse Hulk only uh, a little bit. It, it's not that bad. So the thing that you can do with Hulk, I guess, in Snake Eye would be you can do two things. First thing, we can use Hulk to just summon like the uh, Formula Synchron, and then we can use this to make like uh, Borload Savage, and then we can also use like Sprite Elf to bring back. And that would allow us to bring back the formula again. But I mean, you could already kind of do this before, so it's like, whatever. So we're probably making like a uh, Rollload Savage Baron with, with that play. Or we could do something else. But yeah, in general, not that big of a deal. Uh, if we were playing like Ubel, we don't have any tuners in Ubel, so there, there's that. But the most, just the brain rotted thing I can think of with Halky Fibrex is if we have. Send Ash, well, special summon Ash Blossom Joe Spring, and then we can use that to make like a Promethean Princess or something. And it, or, or just use this as Link material, and then uh, we, we can use um, the Solomon Great Link 2 to add the Ash Blossom Joe Spring back to our hand. But I mean, you can kind of already do this. It, it's just like a little bit more annoying, so it's like alright, I guess. I mean, the primary issue with running Halk is that you'll probably just need a lot of extra deck space for like all of your current cards now. So right now it, it's becoming more apparent, right? So as new and new extra deck cards are being released, you actually have less and less room for Halk because of how good the other extra deck cards are just in general, right? So eventually it will get to the point where you can, it is not reasonable to fit Halk in your extra deck anymore. So just for example, with uh, Snake Eye, here are some cards that you just need to run, right? So we have Promethean Princess, th this is one card. But uh, you need to run Hita, J just gotta. And then Z-Atlantis, you gotta run Z-Atlantis. And y'all, yeah, y'all, you also have to uh, run IP. And then we'll also need to run Appaloso, just gotta run this, right? So, uh, Appaloosa, and then we also need to run, um, the 
summon crate. Uh, the uh, like four here. The uh, raging phoenix, and here we're already at seven, as you can see. And we'll also need to run Dehart, still going. Link Rebo. And then we need to run as well uh, the SP Little Knight. And this is already going to cost us most of our uh, extra deck. Already, we're, we're at 10. And we still have more extra deck monsters we will need to uh, put in here for like one reason or another. But uh, for U Bell, for example, like if we're just looking at the extra deck for this but we still need to uh, fit in more guys. For uh, Fire King Snake Eye, you have even less extra deck space, of course, but yeah. So we need to run uh, for this, Let let's see. You don't run Link Kribo, I don't think, right? And then Hita, we don't need. We might run a Dahark, but I don't think we need to run Dahark. SP, you do need. Uh, IP, you don't. Uh, Apollosa, you run. Won't see Dragon Sea Lances, you don't run this either. We need at least two copies of Phantom of Ubel, but you, you do want to play three in general. So if we go with two of those, and then we go with the Unchained cards, we need this and this. So we need the Soul of Rage, and then Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. And then we'll probably also want Soul of Anguish in general, if this is something you will want. And then after this, let's see. We will also want uh, what well, depends, right? We will want Almraj as well. And then as let's see, we're missing something. Oh, I believe we run this, so we run gigantic elf. And then. Uh, I think this is good, mostly. And then here we have four extra deck left if we throw in Halk, right? But in general, the more good cards that release, the less room you will have for like Halk, right? And th there's no way you're going to be able to fit in your main deck just um, the tuner that you may or may not want to summon with the Halk. And Halk, honestly, needs two extra deck spaces minimum but depending on the exact deck you're playing it might need more so forgot to mention but of course we need to throw in like the formula for the Hulk to special summon so in, in this case we have 12 extra deck uh, slots left and we have three more we need to work out but, but we don't have a lot left so if I were to go check my ranked uh, history, I, I would be able to find like an exact u list, but I guess uh, we can just search one up right now to see what I'm missing, because I do think we're missing something, right? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, we're missing Loving Defender, I think, that's being played, and you also do run Super Poly, right? Yeah, I, I think that's what we're missing here. So you're, you need the Super Poly targets as well, and we don't have Chaos Angel or uh, Cross Sheep. So we're missing those as well, and Muckraker, which you actually sh should definitely run, like, without a doubt, right? So, uh, we need Muckraker, like, 100% Muckraker, Thrush Sheep, and then let's throw in, like, Chaos Angel. Uh, okay, so, all this, uh, you need, like, 99% of this, you might be able to cut out, like, the Anguish. So, yeah, if we cut out the Anguish, but we can throw in, like, something else for, like, Helk. But we already don't have room for to make, like, any Synchros with, like, Helk. Because if we're running Helk, for, for the most part, we'll, we'll want to run at least, like, one tuner. And then two different Synchros to make with the Helk. So, the first one we're going to make off of whatever tuner we summon from the main deck. And then the second we'll make on our opponent's turn. And then we'll need Formula and Helk itself. So, that's four extra deck spaces to relatively efficiently utilize the Hulk. Uh, and if we don't even want to um, 
if we want to just use the thing we summon to do uh, link climbing instead, that would be fine. Like if we summon Jet and then do some link climbing, we can reduce this at most to three. Uh, three synchro monsters, more or less, right? And th that's as much as we can reduce, but we're already so strapped. The extra deck already, right? And we already would prefer to run like three phantoms. And we do need like every, every single one of these cards pretty much. So that, that hurts. And we still don't have like ways to lethal our opponent with the Hulk here, just also being in our extra deck. Not really, right? Uh, because I, I don't think we can easily fit in Hulk into um, the end board for. Um, for. Uh, U belt, right? So, pretty impossible Herculean task here. So, uh, yeah, that that's all I got for you guys today, I guess. And I think Hulk can just come back because of this, because um, that there's just in general, well, it, it might not be able to come back today, but as more good and good cards are being released, Hulk is unironically going to be power creeped enough that. You won't be able to fit this into your extra deck, so it'll only be really useful in synchro decks, I think. And synchro decks one day will maybe need that boost, so we'll see when that happens, maybe. So, uh, yeah. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.